Damn it, how could this have happened? How do you not know who I am? Here's something important to remember about dialogue. If you can't write it properly, then you're just a silly idiot. I would know. I coined the phrase walk and talk. I won an Oscar, eight Emmys, a BAFTA, two WGA awards, and a Golden Schmoes. But I digress. No one in life ever starts a sentence with the word, damn it. I am in a constant state of constipation and writer's block. That is my default position. Dialogue is where the art comes in. It's, it's taking some words that someone just said and wrapping them up in your fist and then knocking them the fuck out with a one-two punch. I left the West Wing after season four. I haven't seen a single episode of seasons five, six, or seven, which is good because they're probably useless, really. Why do you think it got canceled? So what we're going to do today is, is we're going to break the teaser and the first act of episode 501. How about a teaser? Nothing. What about an act? An act? No. No. Do me a favor. Make a fist. Now I want you to punch yourself in the dick because you're an incomprehensible twat. <laughs> See, that's learning. You don't have an idea until you can use the words befuddled, booby, and flibberty gibbet. So what I need is I need to hear your good ideas, aka your bad ideas, because let's be honest, they're really terrible. So just give me your terrible ideas. I've got the most brilliant idea ever. It's not, go ahead. Shakespeare in love, but with zombie strippers. And boobies? I'm actually offended by that. Rise of Titanic, where Jack becomes a ghost. You're already writing poop, but you're a rookie. You can't do that. You can't handle the poop. Flavorty gibbet. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. Remember what I said about making a fist? That's right, because you're a leather-faced ninkin poop. It's a White House conspiracy. From now on, I want you to ask permission to speak. I should have never agreed to do this. I'm firing my agent. The worst crime you can commit is telling the audience something they already know. The second worst crime you can commit is driving along the freeway and hitting a Mexican immigrant who's running across it. It splatters all over your window, so you have to call the TV network. But that taught me something really important, humility. And when you're the best writer in the world, you find that the network is right there, covering everything up like it never even happened. You should be evangelical about Aristotle's poetics. Do you even know who Aristotle is? No, of course you don't, you ignorant jizz muppet. If there's something wrong with your script, it's probably because of this. It's not that dialogue sounds like music, it actually is music. It's like angels playing flutes to Mozart's Concerto 21 in C minor. You're going to have some days where you think you wrote something really good, but it's actually just dog shit. And when you read it again, what you're gonna realize is you're mentally challenged. So if you tell everybody that you know what it is you're talking about, they'll just believe you. So don't let that get you down, but definitely don't quit your day job, all right? Because there are a lot of writers out there, there are a lot of talented writers out there, and you ain't one of them. You know, I had an idea just like that once. It was called A Few Good Men. I won an award for that. What did you win? Ugliest tranny at the Pride Parade? You know, some people say that cocaine is really what's fueling all of my creativity. But in reality, it's much more than that. I, I don't see a problem with three days straight benders and writing and pontificating and then falling asleep and doing it all over again. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Everybody's got skeletons in their closet. Hi, I'm Aaron Sorkin, and this is my master class. 